I just did it. What's up, everybody? <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. And we got another live stream for y'all. Tried not to do anything embarrassing right before it starts. <laughs> Um, we have some fun stuff for you guys planned today. It was obviously a little impromptu, a little last minute in terms of deciding to do this. But during the week, we asked you guys on our Instagram, which you guys should go absolutely go check out, Steve and Nikki react. Um, we asked you guys to send us some uh, assumptions about us, what you think. And I guess this is a fun thing. Nikki brought it up. I guess this is a fun thing that's flying around it's YouTube these all days. all over the, the booty gurus. Yeah. So... Oh. It, it felt like something that would be a lot of fun to do. So we're going to do that. Um, we've got a few packages here. Again, we love to acknowledge anybody who's willing to take the time, the effort, the yes. money to send us stuff. And don't forget, don't ever feel obligated to send anything. Please don't. But if you do, make sure it says Nikki and Steven. And that's it. Our name is not Sava, even though that would be a dope name to have. How Sava? Mm -hmm. Break, <laughs> Breaking Bad. Game of Thrones coming back soon. We missed that show very much. We're ready for it to come back. But yes, we are not Nikki and Steven Sava. We are, so yeah, that's not our official last name. They're not or going anything like that. So th we've gotten letters from the post office saying we will not yeah. deliver it if it says whatever. Fill in the blank. Right. So just keep that in mind, and uh, we're gonna obviously check out the chat questions. We've got stuff from our Patreon, which you guys should absolutely go check out. They've got a bunch of questions over there that we're going to answer. And we're going to have some fun Saturday night partying. I know. Woo! Like, you know, what do what do adults with small children do on a Saturday night? Exactly. I just want to say hi to everybody in the chat. Name name off names. <laughs> that would be box cutter. Box cutter for, <laughs> for the episode of Breaking Bad we just watched. A yellow box cutter. I'm going to use it to... Uh, open our packages and it's not to stab me in the neck no could you imagine like god no i don't want to no stop dang that's god. that was uh, in case anyone here is not a breaking yeah, bad couldn't find the green one didn't find the green one no for the bad watchers we don't want to spoil anything but holy crap that scene was insane yeah, a DeWalt box cutter. It is a DeWalt. DeWalt. <laughs> DeWalt. Yeah. DeWalt. Yeah. It is DeWalt. Yeah. Pack so we're going to start with the packages, and then we're going to jump into the assumptions, and then we'll jump into your questions. And as stuff pops up in the chat that we need to acknowledge, we will. That's what somebody wants to see, your arm tattoo. Oh, God. That's why you did that, Mimi, isn't it? <laughs> it's nothing special. I was going to have... Thanks. I want to have... My plan was to like get a whole sleeve, but my mama didn't like the tattoo, she, so... She made promises. I promised her that I wouldn't get any more, but I had planned. Like, I had a vision for like the whole thing, so... How have yeah. you two been, aside from YouTube, social media, and videos in general? We're fine. We're doing good. Everybody, the sickness is running through the house. Yeah, so if I- I don't know if you can tell if he's sick. If kids, I'm, kids are sick, it's awful. If you hear me being sniffly or sneezy or anything like that, or I sound nasally, it's because I am. I think I'm finally starting to feel good. I'm okay. I got a good nap in today, so. I think we napped all day. Today yeah. was like a complete wash. We didn't do yeah. anything. When the little ones are sick, it's never good. No. So, and the oldest one's sick right now, so. Yeah. Uh, okay, sorry. I'm Stop reading that. Yeah. Okay. Hi, uh, you have received so many Game of Thrones, Walking Dead, and Breaking Bad figures that a change of pace is needed from, uh, thanks for many hours of enjoyment, from Tom Maddox. Jessica <gasps> Jones! Oh God, I love her! She's fantastic! Yeah, buddy. Thank you! That is, I'm putting her on the shelf. That is awesome. I didn't know they that? had that. Tom Meadows. Thank you, Tom. Really appreciate it. Season one of Jessica Jones, which we reacted to. You can check it out. There's, There should be links below. There's dogs barking in the neighborhood. It's, a, it's a haunting of Hill House is situation. It, is it like a full moon or something out there tonight? Because the dogs are going wild. They are. They've been like howling all night. We don't have dogs. but Season one of Jessica Jones was so much fun to watch. Uh, it was one of like the first early reactions we did too. Like, yes, it was, it was like The Walking show. Dead, Punisher, Jessica yeah. Jones. So yeah, she's got a special place. Awesome, like one of the best villains that 
we've AKA, ever seen. AKA Jane. Kilgrave, so good. Yeah. So oh, here. I'm gonna put it up. Jessica. That she is definitely going on the shelf because Jessica Jones is super dope, and you know she's Jane as well. Some somebody mentioned um, Instagram, and who loved that picture on Instagram? That was hilarious. No. Steven wrapped his little arms around. My man, John Snow. Oh, cute. I love sloths. What is this? Oh. Red, red bubble. There's no note in it, but it's an artist on red bubble. Okay. Wait, let me see something else. I don't know. By the way, we haven't checked the P.O. box. I uh, checked it today. Oh, you did check it today. Yes. Okay, good. Um, American Mom is getting close to 100,000. That's dope. Damn, she's amazing. Aw. Oh, oh. I'm like, it's a cute bear. And then I realized what it was. I love that. That's amazing. Ooh. That's dope. Look at this one. This is for me. Heisenberg. That is dope. Look at all this stuff. That Wait. is so cool. It's got the RV. It's got the underwear. The airplane. Dope. Oh, there's those spoilers in there. Los Pollos Hermanos. Oh, yeah. Don't, don't look too closely. <laughs> don't want to look too close. That is super awesome. Thank, Thank you. you. Whoever sent the shirts, let us know. That's amazing. We got a sticker. Oh. This is a sticker, too. I love that so much. Yeah, so, I already saw that. Oh, okay. You are late, Sorry. sir. Late. All right, and the last package. It's a heavy one from... Uh, this is just a live chat, just because what else do parents... Who's asking? Do on a Saturday night, but have a live stream. S is that? Let's say Stevenson. Stevenson from Texas. Stevenson from Texas. From Texas, y'all. Yeah, these are all old. Okay. Cut away, right? Yeah, I actually have a sign. I should probably put it up in the background. It says, "When a Southern woman says, oh hell no, it's already too late.'" And I think it's perfect. Thanks, mom. <laughs> Oh, thank you so much. I couldn't have Holy done that cow. myself. Joy to the world. Oh, is this a Christmas present? Oh, Jack's in the chat. What's up, Jack? Uh, Nikki and Steven, hope you had a good holiday. I sent your two. Oh, yes, I remember. Game of Thrones banners. I'm glad you like them. Here are a few things for you, Steven, and the kids. Sorry so late, Sean. Thank you, Sean. How cute. There's a lot of stuff in this. Uh-oh. What is this? <laughs> Reach in the reindeer poo for your gift. I will let the children do that. <laughs> Some, uh, what is this one? Rain Elf? Elf, Elf snot. Elf snot. That's fantastic. <laughs> the children love the slime. Oh, some stuff got smushed. Peppa Pig. Oh, what is that? Oh, bathtub fizzies. <gasps> They're going to love this. Game of Thrones socks. Yeah, buddy. Those are amazing. Dope. Ooh, we got some, oh gosh. some stark socks. Yeah. Oh, wow. Christmas came early. Oh, jeez. Oh, yes. Oh, you're trying to make me fat, yo. Whoppers. Jeez. Starburst jelly beans. Oh, these are for the kids, huh? Damn. It is. Some lip gloss. Candy. Some pep... Ew, gross. What? Pepperoni chapstick. Hey, it's probably... Oh, <laughs> The kids are going to eat it. I'm eating these. I'm, I'm sorry, children. I'm eating those. Those are my favorite. Oh. <gasps> How cute. Peppermint sticks. This is so cool. Sean, spoiled. Seriously. Spoiled. This is amazing. Aw, that's so cute. There's all kinds of fun goodies in here. Yes, that's so adorable. Thank you. Is it all the same? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Aw, Paw Patrol. Strawberry lip gloss. How cute. Sean, you did good. <laughs> you did good. The girls are going to love this. Totally. Thank you so much. There's more of that. That looks good. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, those, those whoppers might also be nice. Look at that. <gasps> oh, my God. She's going on the shelf. That's fantastic. A Khaleesi candle. Mother of dragons. Breaker of chains. Daenerys Targaryen. <laughs> and as, as I put it, I gave her a whole bunch of extra names like creator of the wheel. <laughs> She's going to break the wheel, right? <clears throat> She's going to break the wheel. She's going to do all the things. Uh, one more. Why? Why not? You're so obnoxious. Can any type, anybody type a one if they think Stephen is highly obnoxious? Am I obnoxious? That would be a yes. <gasps> Wow. Oh my God. I love him. That is glorious. I love him. Oh, we got a couple, That's fantastic. couple super chats. Oh, Adam. Adam, thank, thank you, you very much. The Dancing Outlaw, Jessica White. Oh, Jessica Hello, White. buddy. What up, dude? I know you. Thank you very much. Howdy, back to y'all. Yes. Um, all right. So those are the pack you really need. Can I eat the Reese's on the camera? Is that okay? Well, is this going to turn into a mukbang? <laughs> um, so as we mentioned at the beginning, so those are all the packages. Thank you guys very much. We are so humbled and just so appreciative every time someone sets, sends us stuff. It's just... I think it's funny that not only people didn't put a one, they put a two and a three. <laughs> that means they disagree with you. I'm not obnoxious. How dare you? <laughs> yes, you are. So this is going to be very interesting. Um, I've seen some of these. Nikki has seen none of them. Okay. And what do we got? Tell we're going to go through the stuff that people assume. Oh, if, if you guys haven't seen our Instagram, this is, what I was talking about. This is the picture. Hilarious. <laughs> I love it so much. John doesn't look as happy as I am. But it's, it's it is glorious, Mimi. It, it is. is glorious. So we asked on we put on Instagram stories a chance for you guys to like post what? all different assumptions, what you guys think about us. And we got another one. Going, going postal. Going postal one thousand. Thank you. It makes me happy to see the lawyer up license plate when you react. Thanks for everything. Thank Absolutely. you. Yes, for sure. So we're gonna jump into some of these. Um, I'm probably going to get a lot of these Instagram handles wrong, but I will let Nikki read some of them as well. Oh, God. Um, Those are so good. Senior Cruz01 assumes that we role play at home. <laughs> as Nikki almost chokes on her drink. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big hail to the now. I'm boring. <laughs> role play. I don't think that I would, I would just be like... <laughs> You love it, but I can't do it. I'm I mean, dork. you guys saw the extent of our role play when we dressed up as Daenerys and. Oh, uh, I was thinking about that. Benjen, earlier. since I didn't look like John, I looked like Benjen. You did. So sorry. Um. Yeah. Um. Kendall J. Nikki wears the pants in the relationship. Love you guys. I think we're pretty equal. She runs the house. Yes. She you, she handles everything at home. But we I think we're we're pretty equal. Like there's no like roles except for like I take on a specific role that I give myself. But like he takes out the trash, mm -hmm. he takes care of his children, he gives baths, I give baths, I cook. But you set the rules. He cleans up. Like it, you know, it's equal, which this, I this think is Every marriage should be. This is the uh, you own the domain here. Well, I do get pissed when things don't don't happen. Like I asked you to take that trash out like a day ago. Why didn't you just take it out when I asked you to? It happens. Um, <laughs> Maddie girl. Ah, oh, thank you. <laughs> Maddie girl, not exactly just a comment, not necessarily an assumption. Y'all as excited about getting season eight? Yes. Absolutely. Okay. Obviously, we haven't had to wait as long as everyone else, but oh, yeah. But still, even this wait is long. Yeah, it's been it's been a little while. Apparently, oh, role rumors. play around the house doing chores. Yeah. No. 
See, he's Excuse sick. me. He's totally sick. Hopefully that doesn't happen. At That's all. right. Happy wife, happy life. Yes, that is. If that couldn't, I mean, but that goes for anybody. Happy partner, happy life. Damn it. Yes, without question. Um, but I heard rumors that we might be getting a trailer tomorrow, so <laughs> so that's exciting. Thanks Hopefully. for screaming as loud as I did for Hill House. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate it. And we got Duo, Duo Reacts in the house. You guys are cranking it out. You guys are doing awesome on your Game of Thrones reactions. I don't know if that's Lacey or Steve or both of y'all in the what chat. Up? But thank you for blessing me on my sneeze. Appreciate it very much. Um, Ken, Ken Flowen. It's Ken, Lacey. Hey, Lacey. Ken Flowen. Uh, assumes that Steve, like me, and so many suffering men have developed immunity to eye rolls. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> yes. Nikki's eye rolls, I don't even see them anymore. I don't. Yes, you do. Only when I edit. <laughs> Do you think Jesse Pinkman is a bad person? No. no, not at all. I don't think he's a bad person. I think he's been put in a bad situation. <clears throat> um, Marvel Marie, you guys don't have children. We have two that children. That is a poor assumption. Yes. Because we have those children. Yes. I, bur I birthed two babies. Yes. Um, thank you to Tom Nook the Crook. With other shows coming to the end, would you guys be interested in my hero? What? My hero Academ academia. What? Academia. I can't. I can't read. Anime. Words. We've we've been getting a lot of suggestions on anime stuff. It's Thanks, Anthony. Something that we haven't fully dove into enough to you know we'll, we'll look into it at some point. I think, but the anime. I don't know. It doesn't. We have to give it a chance before we could really knock it, yeah, before yeah. we try it type of thing. But Fernando says that he vouches for Ooh. for that. Okay. He says it's legit. Um, met in the military, but retired early and are now artists. I'm going to assume that they think because you have short hair that you were in the this military. This is not a military haircut, but thank you. And I was not in the military either. No. So. And that's the chair. Making that noise, <laughs> I swear. <laughs> of course. We can't take him anywhere, you guys. Of course, I could survive like a whole hour of Punisher last night without coffee, but I can't get through a live stream without coffee. That's, mm -mm. You want to read one? I got a reason in my mouth. Oh, sorry. Uh, this Salem... I'm so terrible at phonics with names. I can't read names. Uh, Jadu. Assumes that both of you are such a cool couple that resolves all the problems with dialogue. I, mean, I try. <laughs> Nikki's not as good resolving with dialogue. What the room? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. I do a giant eye roll and I leave the room. Basically. Um. No. We do talk it out. I mean, first I get pissed and then we talk it out. Steven doesn't really get mad. Um, Contreras, Carl, I think there's a mirror in front of you above the TV so you can watch yourselves while recording. No, that's what the flip down. We have a flip. flip out we have a flip screen on the, on the <laughs> camera we use. We have a flip screen. Yep. Uh, Joey AG84 assumes that we are both great at Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. No, I don't. I don't do the BJJ. I just wear the sweater and t-shirts yeah. because they're so comfortable. She, I bring home all the swag for her to wear because my coach gives me all kinds of awesome stuff. I love them. That's my sweatshirt, my BJJ sweatshirt. I literally wear that every day. Caleb Double assumes that we are both Apple users. Hell no. Nope. Google. I'm an Google. iPhone. I'm an iPhone MacBook Pro. I just got the Google Pixel 3, and it's fantastic. Not sponsored. <laughs> not an ad. It's real cool. Um, I'm actually in the process of researching PC for my work, my editing computer. It's just, I don't know. I, I, I feel like Mac doesn't, they don't do enough for Mom, you know, mom is these watching. folks who do content and stuff. And. 
you know, you can live stream better off of them. And if I ever get into the games again, live stream games and stuff on there. Um, so yeah, I'm actually processing the, like I'm researching it and like thinking about the horror of switching from Mac to PC for my like work computer. But I think my life, because I'm so stuck in the, uh, the world of Apple that I couldn't completely remove my life from Apple. I'm not an Apple. That's what they do. I'm an so, old lady who just likes the that. What's that name? The what is it called? Android. Android. Ali uh, Reza assumes that you're the best, and I know it. I, I you're the best around. Definitely don't. No one ever. Think, <laughs> what is definitely that? don't think we're the best. <laughs> trying to sing some karate kid stuff. Yes, I can't do it. We are. I'm personally <laughs> way too humble of a person to ever think I'm the best at anything. I'm that's not the what, best at anything. That's what drives me so hard to do so much in my life and my career and all my work and all that stuff. Well, is, I'm still shocked that we have this many subscribers. Yeah, I'm like, I'm sorry, what? It's pretty I'm crazy. What? what? <laughs> I'll let everyone else have their opinions. Um, someone asked how much I could bench press. I have no idea how much I could bench press anymore. I can do. I don't bend. I don't work out like that anymore. I can do fifty plus the bar. What's that? 50 plus the bar. The so bar is like 45? Yeah. So 105? It's pretty good. No, 45, 45 is 90. Pretty Nikki. So 95. Oh my God. I can't do math. Pretty Nikki assumes, shout out Pretty Nikki, mod, thank you, that I never sleep. It's true. Pretty close. My schedule is pretty intense on. on he goes on to bed night. sometime. Around 11, 11, 30. Oh, I was going to say midnight, no, 1 a.m. No, not anymore. And then he wakes up at 5 a.m. to edit. Like, yeah. I don't even wake up that early with children. On posting yeah, on posting night. days, I just editing in the morning has helped me so much in terms of being able to control my sleep. He used to stay up till like 3 or 4 in the morning doing it, but thank God he's done doing it anymore. Yeah. But then the kid would get me up at like 5 or 6 in the morning and I'd get no sleep. So at least now I could control it. Get to bed early and yeah. Um, Daniela assumes that you seem like an amazing couple. Do you have that much in common? Love your videos. Not really. We don't have that much in common, actually. I just really like you. <laughs> I think that's a good quality. You have to like each other, yeah. not not only love each other. Like that's good, but like like each other. Like he's my best friend. She hates sports, and I it love sports. Sucks. Um, so that that gets interesting. On he loves all of my weird shows that I watch, like <laughs> Botched and what are the other ones? All those Housewives. Do you watch the Housewives? Oh shows? hell no, Hoarders. Hoarders, you love. Um, the Good Life. The the six hundred pound life. Yeah. Um. Puts things in perspective. Nikki watches all Thank kinds of stuff. Thank you to my devotion. Love you guys. If you dive into anime, please watch Attack on Titan. Believe me, you'll be hooked. Hear a lot about that one. It sounds, I mean, people love it, right? Read that one. Um, Pilati, Pilati, you are secret HBO agents who are aiming to provoke more interest in watching Game of Thrones. I wish. Oh, sh don't tell anybody. Yeah, I wish we could be <laughs> secret HBO agents. Pump it. Game of Thrones doesn't need our help pumping up its show. Right. I think I think they are doing just good. Um, Stephen Stone Cold or The Rock? <sighs> mm. Yeah, Corey, Hoarders is the shit. It really, I mean, puts things in perspective. I mean, I don't know. The Rock's got such good catchy sayings, and he's The Rock, but Stone Cold. Anti-establishment. He's the bad guy who you root for, who's like the good guy. Stone Cold's amazing. Um, the name of our cat is Bella. She's named Bella from Twilight. Yeah. Because you love Twilight. Nikki's <laughs> a huge Twilight fan. And so Hey, I'm not I'm not so big that like I named my child anything. But... <laughs> Um, Jamie, oh, thank you so much. Are on Instagram assumes that you are the perfect couple. No, we fight like anybody else. Yeah, we're not, we're 
we're we have our fun. You should see us right before we start filming. If he'll do something and then I'll get pissed off <laughs> and then it's like, oh, hi guys. <laughs> so sometimes you can actually tell if we've been like, if he did something to piss me off right before we start filming. Cause it's like, I mean, hi. I mean, I'm a, I'm a huge pain in the butt. So she's perfect for me. So there's, she completes me. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So, um, Rodrigo, nineteen ninety six, assumes that we've already watched season four of Breaking Bad. I wish. No, we have not. We've watched. I wish we had that kind of time. One episode. Uh, Mary Flora Bell assumes that we like pineapple pizza. Uh huh. Nope. There you go. I'll give a double thumbs down for pineapple pizza. You're awful. That's gross. You're a horrible person. Nikki loves it. I do not. Um, How can you hate sports? Because I just don't like it. I'll watch this stuff live because they have snacks. <laughs> <laughs> um, Which one of you would be the one to end up on my 600 pound life? Well, Me. I could eat. If we've told, if you've heard this story before, I've already feel weighed. Feel free to ignore me, but I was 217. I weighed 260. Now I'm 160. My last year of college, after playing football, I weighed 260. I mean, Hi, John Hampton. Obviously, I was big playing football, but still 260. Holy cow. Yeah. I love that photo. I want to show that photo. See wow. if I, my football photo. Mm. I wonder if I can find it real quick. You show that one, and I'll show my big one. Well, it's more my... Not my big one, but more my. Kyle, Kyle Ryder, Nikki, my girl, I need a shout out. No problem. I'm sure. No, no, now we're not <coughs> on our phones. Yeah, I can't find it. <clears throat> I'm trying to find a picture of right before I started losing me. I can't find it. Um, our kids do not watch. Any of the shows. They have seen bits and pieces of Game of Thrones. Well, and they know what The Walking Dead is. But, like, when it's... If we, like, when they had the marathon on, I think that was, like, last month, um, I had the volume on very low. That's me. That was me. <laughs> Yikes. Um, and... Obviously, I knew what lines were coming up or what scenes were coming up, so I would change the channel if there was anything real vulgar or anything bad. But, like, like our oldest one will be, like, she'll be like, oh, look, it's Daenerys, it's Daenerys. Like, she knows who Daenerys is. Yeah. Um, they know what Game of Thrones is. They know what the show is. I don't think they know anything about Breaking Bad. Um, so my mom is in the chat, so say hello to Lady Onana. And she wants, I guess somebody asked if you have Italian ancestry. Me? Yes. I'm full blood, 100% Italian. Everyone in my family is Italian. I was, don't ask me to speak it. I have a it. dirty joke, but I'm not going to say it. Don't, <laughs> don't ask me to speak it because, as you can see, if you watch our Dothraki video, I am lacking that part of the brain to learn languages. So, um, Jonas Gone Calves. Uh, assumes that you or your daughters had an aquarium with goldfish, but he died fast, so he didn't buy another. Mm -mm. I grew up with an aquarium in my in my bedroom as a child. My godfather always bought me goldfish and different. I had, I had all kinds of fish. I am terrified of goldfish. Mom can attest to that. I yeah. I well, not that I'm terrified of them. She can't attest to that, but she can attest to like having goldfish is just a bad idea for me. Uh, thank you to. McVinley SSG, cool couple watch Breaking Bad. Like to see y'all do anime. Oh. There's a lot of will, very will, high demand we will for anime. Discuss it when we come up for a new vote for a. Yeah. Um, Nikki, does Stephen make a mean pasta dish? I She's, make a mean. She pasta learned from my dish. mama. No, she, we don't even cook the same. What are you talking about? <laughs> no, actually, Nikki learned make, from her mama. I make prego. His yeah. mom makes real stuff. You, but you, you don't just, you add to it. You make. I missed two donations? Where? Jasmine, no. 
Oh. Oh, yes. dang it. Ocean, I hope you guys watch RuPaul Drag Race. It will give you new life. Love you. You give me life. Nikki and Steven, my religion, praise Jesus. <laughs> but I love Willem. Willem. He is like the, sorry, she is the best drag queen. I love her. She is disgusting and fantastic and hilarious. But that was like from old stuff. I don't really watch it. Manuel Villarreal, uh, what has been your favorite BB cold open so far? Oof. And also, thank you to the Jader Nader. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think Lauren Cohen will come back? I don't I, know. She, she will. I hope so. But what's your favorite cold open? I really enjoyed all of the teddy bear ones just because there was so. So literally, you didn't know what yeah. the hell that was. It was like. And, and any guesses that we had were so far off from even coming close to what they were. The, the teddy bears in the pool stuff was, I think those were my favorite. Yeah. And thank you again to Going Postal 1000. When you're done with Breaking Bad, ah, wait, hold on. When you're done with Breaking Bad, watch the Breaking Bad video called Time and react to it, please, but only when you're all the way done. Okay. Yeah, we don't research things. We don't <coughs> watch anything else when we are currently yeah. into something. Um, back to some assumptions. Kitty Jordan uh, assumes that we have given up on Black Mirror. Not officially, no, we have not given up on Black Mirror, but they did claim another video the other day. So that's like three of the five videos that we have done for them have been claimed. It's just on the back burner for now. We'll we'll come to we'll we'll figure out what we're doing with Black Mirror once we're done and caught up with the Punisher. But that's gonna be looking ahead at our schedule, it's gonna be so insane. We're gonna be wrapping up the Punisher. And I know there's comments about Punisher getting canceled. Yeah. It's sad. Which sucks. Very upsetting, but I saw it coming. I don't know how much everyone pays attention to this stuff, but I, I pay a lot of attention to this stuff. Because Disney's launching their streaming service, and obviously Marvel is owned now by Disney, Netflix owns the show, there was no way that they were going to come to terms for them to share the shows. So it just, like, as soon as that stuff, like, the writing was on the wall that Disney wasn't, they're, Netflix is a competitor now, and Disney's launching their own thing, which is going to be amazing. Um, so, yeah, it just made sense that none of those shows were ever going to continue. So, oh, you want to try reading that one? I keep asking you as you're taking bites of stuff. Sorry. Um, I don't know. I can't pronounce that one. Mehul Chavda? 2207 Steven likes to watch WWE. Like you don't even know. Yeah, that's a good Like you don't even know. That's a good assumption. It, I'm as I get as fired up in a good and bad way about wrestling as I do Star Wars. So which <laughs> after that, after the fly breaking bad episode and finding out Ryan Johnson directed it, it, it turned into the comments were really interesting and fun. And I never thought all this time after The Last Jedi would be out that would still be talking about it but i have a really good rant lined up if you guys are interested in hearing my rant about last jedi going into the the final episode of this new trilogy if you're interested in hearing my rant about the last jedi leave some comments let me know because i have a list <laughs> nicole rush i don't ever assume anything about people but i wanted to say hey and love from canada thank you yeah, because you know what they say about an assumption, right? It makes the ass out of you and me. And it's the mother of all fuck ups. Okay. If you, what movie is that from, y'all? Figure it out. Uh, Jared would like to know where the schedule is. If Schedules in the community tab, <clears throat> funny guy. No, he said he wasn't being oh, sarcastic. Being, <laughs> Slow down. <laughs> being serious. Slow down. Can't tell. Sorry, Jared. <laughs> Jesus. Where is that question? It's at the right here. Sorry if I'm an idiot and haven't found uh. it. God. <laughs> Slow down. Oh, funny. Black My, Rock Wednesday. Is that not what, bad. What's up? Um, the dogs are going crazy out there. I know. What is happening? Uh, another name that I probably can't. Another, these are all like um, that one of you 
that you are one that, of yeah, the would, Avengers. That'd be dope to be an Avenger. That would be dope. I want some special powers. That would be super cool if we were Or like a really Avenger. cool suit that does some things. Yeah, right. Uh, oh, somebody, I think um, people also want to know, like, if we're going to be watching the second season of Hill House. <laughs> and you're damn right. Yeah, for sure. Um, I haven't got a chance to look at the little video they put out. Did you see it? Yes. Is it cool? Uh, from what I can remember, yes. Or maybe awesome. I stopped it because it said leave the sound on, and I was with the kids, and I didn't want to scare them. Oh. I don't sure remember. So it's like an anthology series now, which is going to be super dope. Okay. New characters, new actors, new story. Mm -hmm. I think that's a great idea. Or no. It was the one. No. I'm wrong. I don't know. Um, we take bubble baths together. We don't have a bathtub. <laughs> I mean, the kids have a bathtub. We just have a shower. I assume that you guys reference Game of Thrones in your lives way too much now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know nothing. <laughs> power is power, man. Oh, man. Um, I am pure vegan. Assumes that average American knows more about sports than global politics. I am not vegan. <laughs> what? Oh. Yeah, uh, Okay. Yeah. Average sure. American knows. Yeah. I mean, I would say. I mean, so. I enjoy sports a lot more than politics. Yeah. I, I mean, it's more about a desire of what I want to know and what I don't want to know. I have a desire to. I love sports. I grew up playing sports. So. I mean, yeah. that's one way to, you know, make a situation uncomfortable is bring up uh, politics or religion and yeah. you just don't do that. Uh, Jasmine Clues assumes that we are gym junkies and really healthy eaters. Oh, you know, totally healthy. Totally. <laughs> we are, uh, for the most part, yeah. Yeah, gym junkies, yes, we work out a lot. We go, like, Nikki has her spin thing. I have my jujitsu thing. We do that many days during the week. I go to the gym at least six days a week unless people are sick and I have to take care of them or, you know, appointments. Um, but in terms of eating, like, I've got a strong willpower for a lot of things. But, like, there are certain foods and certain things that I just, like, pizza and cheeseburgers, like, pasta. Also, also, just, not an ad, not sponsored. I signed up for HelloFresh because I found somebody's coupon code. Dude, it's so good. Oh, my God, it's so good. Click on that. Kayla, thanks for making my days brighter. I appreciate you guys, and I'd love to hear your thoughts on The Last Jedi because I think I'd agree. Okay. I might have to find some time to... Uh... Oh, you're not going to do it right now? No, okay. we'd be here for like a half hour yes. extra um, if I shared my thoughts on The Last Jedi. Yes. Um, there is, ironically, there is a review on this channel after the very first time I watched it. I, did I go by myself? Yes, you did. I went by myself to watch it. And because when do we have time to go um, together? My opinion has changed. It was really funny because in that video I said I loved The Last Jedi, which not the case. Um, it's a fun movie, but <laughs> I watched the review recently because of all the conversation that popped up about the Ryan Johnson thing in the episode of Breaking Bad. Um, but yeah, after I watched it more and more and got like did more research and did more thinking about it. My my opinion of it, uh, the, the, that episode changed drastically. Like, probably to the point where it's like, too much. Yeah. I get a little too upset about um, it. Jer Jared would like to... Hi, Jared Devon. I'm new to your channel, but I've liked your Breaking Bad reaction so far. How do you guys determine which shows you will react to? Do we vote? Do you pick? Or do we vote a few shows that you pick? So... You pick the bottom, the base answer to that because, like, there are shows that we didn't do this for, like Jessica Jones, Hill House. Um, generally, we will ask you guys for suggestions, um, and our Patreons technically get first kind of crack at that. Um, and then we'll take like the top 10 suggested lists, and the patrons will basically narrow that down like to a top five. And it shows that we will. We will do some very basic research on it, so obviously that we don't hit spoilers. Like a trailer. Like a very beginning, or like a really like simple synopsis. 
and basically see if it sounds like it's something interesting to us. And from that point, we'll pick the like anything that goes into a poll sounds or looks interesting to us. So it's not like we're being forced into watching something we don't want to watch. Um, so yeah, that's basically the, and then once we get like our five, we'll put it on the community tab for a big vote. Um, because you know, we're here because of all of you and you know, we, yes, we're not going to pick a show and keep watching something that we hate and despise, but your guys' track record has been flawless lately. Like since the, since we started asking for suggestions and shows to watch, like you guys have crushed it. So we trust you guys at this point to give us good stuff. So generally speaking, yes, we will ask you for suggestions and then we'll take those suggestions and put them in a vote. Um, but for stuff like, I guess you call them our legacy shows, like, okay. Um, sorry. My mom is also moderating to <laughs> my phone. Um, <laughs> but for shows that we have previously already watched, they take priority over everything else. So like the Punisher returning kind of bumped black mirror out of its spot. Bye. Um, Stranger Things will be coming back. That's going to be put at the top of the list when that comes back. Um, Karate, uh, Karate Kid, uh, Cobra Kai. Once that comes back, season two of that will take priority. Like we watching the Walking Dead. They do obviously a A and a B in terms of their seasons. So we just were like, this Hill House show keeps getting a ton of suggestions. It's only got ten episodes, so we decided to just watch that in between. Um, basically the hiatus on the walking dead. So like there'd be moments like that when we do that, we just decided to watch Jessica Jones because we love Punisher. Yeah. Um, but generally speaking, and it sounded good. Yeah. Generally speaking, we rely on you guys. Um, real quick. Uh, also, thank you, Celeste. But my mom said that, um, where is it? Kyle wants to know if we if we'll do True Blood, and we've already watched True Blood. True Blood was one of our favorite shows of all time. I mean, we didn't react to it obviously, right. but we watched we every watched second. Yeah. Every second of True Blood has been watched. Love me some Sookie. Yeah, um, but that was so, such a good show. Celeste, after Breaking Bad wraps, please think about how to get away with murder. It keeps you in suspense, gets better with each season. Love you guys. Is it a WB show? Oh yeah, that's the other thing. If it's WB, w does not like reactors. Yeah, they. And the thing is, at this point, because of how much time and effort I put into this in terms of like editing and pumping these videos out, mm -hmm. if they don't want us to watch their stuff, no if they don't want us to react to it, <coughs> then it's really simple that we're not going to promote their show. We're not going to put the time and effort into watching it. So like Black Mirror, we loved that. That show was crazy. Um, but it was awesome. But they went and claimed every single one of the episodes. So we make zero off of anything that that show gets in terms of revenue. And it just, so, you know, if you're going to put in all that work, yeah. I mean, you want, like, you know, want to make something from it, I guess. I have a very specific, when it comes to the editing of these things, and thank you to everyone who ever comments about the editing because I put so much time and effort into it. Um, it's, it's like very important. And like I have a certain way of doing it and it's not easy <laughs> and it takes a long time. And if they're going to claim all the videos, then we're just not going to watch them. So if there's anything that, and until WB changes, I guess Breaking Bad was like this in the past. Um, but unless something changes over at WB TV, we're not going to be watching any of their shows just because it's not worth the time and the effort to, you know, put in all that work for nothing. What about, what about True Detective? True Detective, we watched half of season one. Um, I don't really remember it. I, do, I know that it had... Um, Woody Harrelson was in it. And Matthew McConaughey? Yeah, I think so. We could maybe... That, that's one of those shows that we could <clears throat> revisit, think about doing. Sopranos is another one that we might think about. Um, I watched a lot of Sopranos early in college, but I was playing football. I was partying and having fun in college. And... I was hitting my head a lot. <laughs> so I don't retain a lot of information from, from Sopranos and you haven't seen any of it, right? Uh, just bits and pieces on reruns, but like, um, another, a 
another assumption, the what now Burge? Yeah. I assume you are intimidating new people, but in reality, neither of you would hurt a fly. We're intimidating? That's pretty, I mean, I've been... Intimidated by? Wait, you, I assume you're intimidating to new, new people. people. Um, uh, screw it, Oh, sorry. Um, not that far. <clears throat> um, you mean, oh, here. <laughs> I get... I get accused of having like the asshole, like resting asshole face. Yes, you do. Um, resting jerk face. I was gonna say something else. Um, we'll go with that. So yeah, <laughs> I guess like I guess I have that a certain look, but yeah, like I'm a really nice person. Just don't try to hurt me or my family or my friends, and the rage will come out. <laughs> I'm usually shy, and then, like, you know, if you laugh at one of my jokes, then we're best friends. Yeah. Um, we've seen Dexter also. Dexter's in our top five, at least in my top five currently. Yes. Breaking and, Bad's pushing um, for that. You know, Peaky Blinders get suggested a lot. Like, even in my real life, I get suggested Peaky Blinders. Um, KJ Rob assumes that he sees me greeting Nikki with a yo every day after work. <laughs> if he did that, I would hit him. I, I, I've i said yo a lot in Hi, my Eric. life. Um, Thanks, Eric. He goes on to say, that who says the fun has to stop when the camera stops? It's true. I say yo a lot. I love yo. I'm the one who's always cracking the jokes. Yeah. I've got dad jokes all day. <laughs> you want to hear a long joke? Joke. <laughs> <laughs> you want to hear a short joke? Joke. No. Uh, which character in Hill House did you relate to the most? Really hope they use the same cast for Bly Manor. This may be futile, but please watch Penny Dreadful. Amazing show, amazing acting, especially Eva Green. I've heard Penny Dreadful. I that have, one that one has been suggested yes. as well. <clears throat> which character do you think you you relate to the most from Hill House? Mine's easy. Because I, I think I think I was actually I think he's a Patreon. I think he posted that over there. No, I mean I like want to say I want to say Steve for me because my belief of that stuff is I, it's very questionable. So I, I would be a lot like Steve. <clears throat> I kind of feel like now like nobody listens to me, but that's because I'm a mom and I have two small children and no one listens to me. But um. Yes, Stephen should play Frank Castle in MCU. <laughs> Thank you, Chris. I dressed up as him for Halloween like two years ago. Yeah. <laughs> but then, like, I also see, like, Theo is like, I... Mom. <laughs> um, I, yeah. I, I, mm, maybe no. Maybe no. But also Cheryl. Because, like, you gotta take care of everybody else. But I don't really take care of everybody else. I kind of, like, stay out of it. So that's where I'm like, Theo is like, you just like, whatever with everybody. Uh, A.H., I agree with you about Dexter. That was lazy. That was weak. The ending of Dexter was absolutely horrid. They they just, I'm not going to say what I, I'm not going to say any spoilers for Dexter just in case, but I think we're on the same page on how it probably should have ended. That's not um, funny. I saw someone behind you too. Not funny. Yeah, that's not. Don't. Not funny. <laughs> I mean, when I'm editing, I'm fi I'm, <laughs> like if I'm in bed facing like our door in our bedroom, I always see like a shadow there, and I tell Nikki, I'm like, can you tell the kid in the hallway to leave? And it it's just not, freaks her. Not funny. She does not appreciate because that. Because literally, at all. I'll be sitting in bed or whatever, and like it sounds like somebody's coming up the stairs, and it's just like no shit, like, babe. <laughs> Are you home? Greg on Instagram assumes that Nikki always wins the arguments. Yes. I'll be honest. Yes. <laughs> In some way, shape, or form, he will end up apologizing. Sorry. But um, you're going to have to say sorry. SD.F assumes that we both agree about Game of Thrones. Um, not, not really. I mean, like eventually yes but you have like, a different opinion on how it should end than i do well yeah different opinions but i feel like yours is gonna win oh but yeah we have different opinions that's that was the assumption piko83 assumes that steve wants to be manly but nikki clearly the boss at home she runs the house i'll admit that but but i'm quite manly 
but he he like we both <laughs> know our roles like we, i mean there's not like a set role but like we both know we both know our strong trait I, what how does that i don't know yeah like yeah. we both know our strengths the haunting of nikki and steve not Bennett. no um jess isaac Assumes that Nikki needs a hug, but queen. queen. Steven acts tough, except when John shows John Snow. John Snow is hurt. Don't don't touch my John Snow. All right, just that, don't 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 is. touch my John Snow. Don't strong suits. Thank you, Claudia and Alex. Thank you. Um, I'm like what? <laughs> uh, oh, is Maddie Bear in, in the chat? I just saw someone say, I saw Maddie. Maddie. Where? Oh, yeah, there she is. Hi. Awesome. Awesome reactor. You guys I should go check out her channel as well. Checking they won't get any sleep tonight. I know, right? Yeah. Um, and then the last assumption that we'll go over is uh, G L O B I S, <laughs> Globus. Assumes that we are both fans of Metallica. No. I love Metallica. Metallica is great. Metallica my, my brother great. Sean used to listen to Metallica. I like Metallica a lot. Um, so as you pull up, so the last thing we're gonna go over, we're gonna we're cranking along here, fifty-one minutes in. This was kind of fun. Kyle, I see you, boy. I see you. <laughs> Um, we've got who would some... win, Frank Castle or John Wick? I don't know who John Wick is. Oh, I actually we haven't watched any of the John Wick movies. <gasps> Josh, Haunted on Netflix. I've watched it. It's terrifying. Good God, I watched it by myself. Holy shit, that's some scary, scary stuff. I think it's only like five or six episodes. Good God. Thank you, Kyle. I see you. I see you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're gonna we're gonna jump over to our Patreons because you know they 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 support us in a way that maybe you know, um, and they get they get a chance and opportunity to ask us questions. So we're gonna answer all of their questions. Um, hopefully, we get all all of these. Um, but up first, Alex wants to know about our moderation system, how it works on YouTube and how our moderators help you to avoid spoilers. Have you been spoiled and how do you avoid spoilers on the live stream as well as with, with live chat? Um, so in terms of our process for that, we won't go into comments for a show that we are avoiding spoilers on until we get a green light. Our moderators will go in, they'll go do a clean sweep and then they'll give us the thumbs up and be like, you guys can go check out comments. You're, or, you're free. Hey, you need to hide this person or you need yeah. to hide that person. Or this person has been, you know, just blatant spoilers. Like if you post a blatant spoiler, you will get removed. Yes. I'm sorry. If you don't think that you left a spoiler, that probably means you left a spoiler. I'm sorry. Totally. You probably <laughs> did it. Yeah, it's I'm, not that complicated. I'm sorry. You know, um, like we have to, we have to protect ourselves. So. And YouTube has, YouTube has a system with the moderators that still needs to be, I feel like it's still a work in progress because if there's a thread and there's a really good discussion yes. going on and there's a spoiler within like the 40 comments in a thread, because we've seen that many comments before in response, like a good debate's going on. The whole thread has to get erased. The moderators can't go in and just remove a response to a comment. Yeah, so, so don't get mad about that. Like, if you like see an sucks. entire thread gone, it's it's not anything, probably something that you did. Maybe somebody in the responses did something that they shouldn't have and left a spoiler. And, yeah, they have to take out that whole thing. It's just that that part just sucks. Yeah. Also, somebody says um, something about, um, oh, how come the kids never disturb us when we're – It's well, first off, they're in bed. Second off – we edit that part out. <laughs> yeah, if, if they, There's if they have, times they have come down. down. Yeah, we we make sure to cut around all that. Just you know, just pause, clean, help, yeah, right, babies. We don't then, ignore the children. Yeah, we will pause the show and jump into it. Um, Devin already kind of hit on this, but um, heard Netflix is canceling Punisher. I want to know our feelings about it. 
he's outraged. Uh, just got back from Oahu. Oh, awesome. Oh, Devin. So, catching up on all our videos. Thank you, Devin. We, that's where we did our honeymoon. Yes. Uh, Kelly Parks, whose idea was it to start reacting? Also, if you're fans of the Avenger movie, I would love to see you guys react to Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Nikki really wants to do that. I really do. I really want to um, do It was my idea to do reaction videos because we told the story a hundred times now, but obviously we have a new group of subscribers, yeah. so I don't mind telling it again. Um, but the first content we were doing, or I was doing, my, I had my own channel, and I was vlogging, and it was just during the moment of, you know, this was it the mid season? No, it was the new season of The Walking Dead. It started. Season seven. Yeah, season seven started. Um, and it was just part of our day to where we were vlogging it. We we're like, oh, we're going to have a date night, watch Walking Dead. We knew something crazy was going to happen. Um, well, based on the last episode. Exactly. Of the previous season. Which we don't want to spoil for any Walking Dead fans out there um, who are still catching up. But I knew something crazy was going to happen. So I'm like, hey, let's just film us watching this. Like, I didn't know what reactions were. Um, it was just like this punch and a lot of my hunches tend to be pretty good. And <laughs> her reaction to that episode was I screamed and cried was insanity. And I decided to just clip it by itself and hundred thousand views the next morning. And here we are with a channel dedicated <laughs> to reactions. H T Y Y. I was banned and didn't spoil anything. How, do you, how do you know? Yeah, I don't, I don't know how you Go know. into our channel and send us an email with band and let me know why. Well, and, and we'll let me give it. me your screen name so that we can review it and we'll review it. Um, Kelly Parks wants to know our prediction on how Breaking Bad will end. I have no idea. I, I don't know. That is... Everybody dies? <laughs> I mean... How could you get away with this for so long? Everybody's yeah. going to die, well, that's right? Sure. I mean, no, don't tell me. Don't. I'm not... I'm going to... What happened? No, no, nothing's happening. I just, before, because we're talking about Breaking Bad, yeah. I don't want anybody to start getting ideas. Yeah, we're, we've got the chat way behind, we're, and we're protected. Oh, in the chat, we, we've got our mods going through comments in the chat. Yeah, too. anybody with a little um, wrench next to their name is a moderator. Yeah. Don't mess with my moderators. <laughs> uh, Jesse, have you seen the trailers <laughs> to the next season of Hill House? You saw it, right? I haven't seen it well, yet. Well, I just saw the Instagram little... Yeah. Is that what it was? I don't know. Thingy. Do you want me to pull it up? No, it's okay. okay. Thank you for all your dedication, and please know your hard work is very much appreciated. Thank, Thank you, Jesse. You. you want to read one from Jim? Jim Adelman? Jim Alderman. Alderman. How dare you? I don't have any questions. Just a couple of comments. I can't wait to see you finish season four and start season five of Breaking Bad, arguably the two greatest seasons in the history of television. Also, while I like Game of Thrones, I look at it more as the best example of epic cinematic entertainment. But for me, Breaking Bad was not as epic in scope. Is better in the sense as it's more impactful, more haunting, has better storytelling and better writing. I honestly think that you two will agree by the time you finish the series finale. And I can't wait to see you all get there. We're very excited to finish Breaking Bad and get through yes. it. And it'll be really interesting to see. I mean... Game of Thrones jumped to number one on our list. You, That's with you too, right? Yes. So Game of Thrones jumped to the number one spot on both of our list of our favorite shows of all time. And there is a fiery debate versus Breaking Bad and Game of Thrones, which show is better. And it, I could already feel how that debate could be so fiery because these are two very different shows. They are – like Game of Thrones is obviously – very much fantasy and you know plays with the imagination a lot more breaking bad feels so real i think i said that in the last reaction when you know the box cutter episode played out um that just feels so much more real and it, I, I think it's got a stronger impact we'll see if it could hit on the emotional strings that game of thrones has yeah because when when john you know, Spoiler alert, alert. <laughs> when Jon Snow suffered his fate, like, that wasn't acting. Like, we were both checked out of the show in that moment. I, I was like, I, I did laps so, around the house. I was like, fuck this I, shit. I, there are, I don't think there are many shows that could have that kind of impact 
um, just the point where it's like something happens in the show and we don't want to quit because it sucks or it's bad. Just that it, it, it emotionally fucked us up so much that like, we're like, we can't even handle this anymore. Of course we watched, I think we watched the next day, right? The next Or did we take a couple days off after that? I think, no, I think we watched the next, no, I think we had to wait a couple of days because, um, that was a lot. I think we took a day off. Just because that was way too emotional. Uh, DD7 wants to know what we do for a living. I am, well, I don't, I work from home. You're a homemaker. No, that's no. not the word. You're a, I do everything. You're a, yeah. She, she takes, I yeah. do everything. I'm a, I'm a digital video creator. I edit and create content for companies <clears throat> and then paul perez says so i lived in temecula now i live in ventura stephen being skeptical i can tell you i have done two paranormal investigations in panorama city and simi valley whoa and so what happened did you paul please they... tell me some things yeah. about simi valley <clears throat> um dan wants to know who each of our favorite characters are in breaking bad besides walt and jesse mike Mike is a dude. Mike is dope as hell. I like Gus a lot too because he's scary AF. Oh my god, yeah. Woo. I I'm I'm pulling for Hank. I want Hank to do well. I like Hank. He's entertaining. Yes, I mean you want to like him. Um. Well, and he goes on to say, "What was your favorite moment in Hill House?" And then wants to know why Arya Stark is the best character in Game of Thrones. She has a list. Somebody asked in here, do you think that Arya is going to get to all the names on her list? I, I think hope so. so. I hope so. I think Arya... I think Arya... Arya's just awesome. She's easily she's, in my top five favorite characters in Game of Thrones. She's very unsuspecting. She's just got she's so much... She's small and mighty. She's such a little savage. She's it's like so great. Lady Mormont. She's amazing. Yeah. Um, People are asking about 24. Can you guys get answer some questions about... Or can we get some questions of asking about 24? 24, the TV show? Yes. I watched every Nick second. Nick 2 Wolfrey. I watched every second of 24. Yeah. I watched did, it with you, you. You did? Yeah. I, don't I watched it with you. Yeah. It's good. We watched the movie, right? Was there a movie? Did that ever come out? I don't remember. I don't remember that. John Hampton, did you recognize Mike from Beverly Hills Cop? Didn't watch Beverly Hills Cop. It's, it's good. It's got Eddie Murphy, right? I might have watched it, but I don't recall anything. Um, what are your thoughts on Alpha? She's fucking terrifying. I want to learn more, that's for sure. We are comic book readers for The Walking Dead, so everything that we're seeing on the show is we're learning for the first time. So Yes, 24 is a movie. Yeah, if you watch the movie then. We, we saw it. We, we've seen everything 24 oh, related. Yeah. Um, did it? Yeah. Um, <laughs> Jess De La Rosa wants to know our favorite food to eat. Jess, love you. Uh, Cuban. Sushi and cheeseburgers and pasta. I love Cuban food. I'll take anything. Minus anything fish. But... Yeah, Eric. There's Eric's question about Hill House. Hi, Eric. Uh, Jasmine wants to know, is Breaking Bad officially in your top five favorite shows? What are your predictions? And, and what would make you hate Walt even more than when if Walt... so-and-so died? I'm not going to drop spoilers of Breaking Bad in here. Oh, if if he got his family killed, that would be like. Mm. Well, Walt, like Walt, is such an intriguing character because he is responsible for so much bad, and you could fight me all you want on this. No, no, um, don't don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> but like, I love Walt as a character, but he is clearly a bad. Like he is portrayed as a, as a bad guy with good intentions, which. Is such like an oxymoron. It doesn't make any sense. But like his actions have put so much bad into motion. But I still love the character so much. And I'm still rooting for the guy to do well. <laughs> like it's crazy. Um, but yeah, like um, for Breaking Bad to jump into the top five, I like to reserve or write my personal list um, until we're actually caught up on the show. I don't feel like that's fair to do for a show that we're not done with. Um, so, I mean, it's going to – I could tell that it's going to be up there. But to put it in there now, I wouldn't I wouldn't do that yet. Um, April from Texas wants to know where our usual stuff from Walking Dead is in the background. 
I have I the paintings. Yeah, I mean those are freaking awesome. Kara W, she's the bomb. Yeah. Um, we've it, been we've been changing. One of them, there's one of them on there. It's just that like everybody sends us so many nice things. We just like, got like wanna, a rotation. Like, I want to like you know, it's like a little thank you to everybody. You know, but I will definitely rotate some more things out. <clears throat> Vivian, I don't have a question. I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for your reaction. Since oh. since my father died, I live alone, and it's nice to have company watching TV shows. Greetings from Switzerland, Vivian. I got my heart. <laughs> I'm not crying. You're crying. <laughs> well, that, yeah, that, these are the kind of comments that, Get me every time. And just keeps driving me to do more and more and get better and better with these videos. Chills. So thank you very much, Vivian. We're sorry about your your dad. I just I am not looking forward to that moment in life. Uh, I, I still have both my parents. He still has both his parents, and I don't want to think about that. Jasmine with another one wants to know what our plans are going to be when we hit a hundred thousand. Holy shit, I'm going on vacay, yo. <laughs> we got to get there first. Yeah. Um, I want to see that silver play button. That would, be, that would be so awesome. That would be pretty dope to yeah. get one. But it's, there aren't many, there, I don't think there are many reaction channels that do like TV show style reactions that are in the 100,000. I think there are. I think mean, there's, a, there's a couple. But it's, that's, a, that's a tough number to get to. Oh, thanks. We are uh, Daga Love. You guys are my go-to channel on YouTube. Oh, Kai Nicole's in here, too. What's up? Girl! I didn't see it. Wait. Where? where? Oh, Kai. There you go. There we There we, Wait. No, I just scrolled right past it. Dang it. <laughs> Thank you. Kai Nicole. Another awesome reactor. You guys, go check her channel out, too. There's a lot of awesome reactors out there. Mouse House Studio, you guys are the best. Thank you so much. You're <laughs> and, so sweet. And she put the little mouse. I know, I love the little face. <laughs> <laughs> Jasmine with another one wants to know how to become a mod. Um, when we need them, we'll put out suggestions, but we've got to really kind of we were able, we were lucky to kind of transition some people from from the from Game of Thrones who had seen Breaking Bad and The Punisher and Hill House and just Luckily, we haven't really needed. We'll put out a suggestion, like something on the community tab if we're looking when we need new ones. Um, but yeah, we usually we we've got our small group and they're crushing it and keeping us safe, so we're okay right now. We're good, we're good so far. Uh, Ricky James Watson, hello, and Alex Stark said Nikki's out here yelling at people. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's my job. Craig Lyons mm -hmm. wants to know, would we ever play the Game of Thrones Telltale game and upload it? Um, if there was time, <laughs> it's it, like, it's always about time, time to do it, time to like upload it, time to play it. Um, I, I used to be a massive gamer when I was younger, prior to children, um, just had the time to do it. But the last game that I ever played was on PlayStation. It was XX Tricky. Okay. It was a snowboarding game. That's how long ago. I love I love Madden. I was Resin the original Resident Evil game was my all-time favorite video game. Um in in this research for this computer that I'm thinking about, um I wouldn't mind figuring out a way to configure it to also do streams and play games again because you know, Star Wars has a lot of video games. I, I've heard a lot of negative things about the EA Star Wars games, but I wouldn't mind getting back into games. That'd be a lot of fun. <clears throat> Thank so. you to Nicholas Nesmith in, into the Badlands. Good show. That's the one that came on after Walking Dead, right? Yeah. Like it's a, like the martial arts. Ago. I think it's like a martial arts. I tried to show. watch it. I just couldn't get into it. I don't know if I just wasn't in the right headspace for it yet, but I just wasn't into it yet. <coughs> Would you ever react with your kids when they get older? It's got all they got a long way to get older. They're uh, they're gonna inherit this channel one day. We can't ever let this channel die. Okay. Ever. Okay. Never. <clears throat> they're they'll it'll be in their will. Or in There's my a ghost will. behind you, don't look now. Mm -hmm. That's not funny. <laughs> not cool, dude. Not cool. Sea Mars, thank you. Have to go to sleep. Look forward. To your Let Nikki read it. Mohammed, greetings from Canada. Nikki and Steve, as always, loving your reactions. 
I wasn't sure if you had known this, but The Haunting of Hill House would be continuing as an anthology series similar to American Horror Story. Season two will be called The Haunting of Bly Manor. Very excited. Here's the question. It's it's the world of Breaking Bad, but instead of Walter White and Jesse Pinkman, you have two characters from Game of Thrones. Which do do you choose? For me personally, I'd be Tyrion as Walter White and Gendry as Jesse Pinkman. That's good. That's a good combo. I think I would go with yours as well. That's a really interesting question. I can't, if I'm picking Game of Thrones characters, I can't not pick Jon Snow for something. Like, come on. And do they have to fit like the same character traits? Because I don't think anybody in Game of Thrones is as smart as Walter White. Like, no, and somebody else said something about like you know Walter White versus um, Littlefinger, and I think Walter White would kick his butt all day. Like he, like yeah. Littlefinger thinks he's <laughs> smart, not so much anymore. Um, but yeah, uh, Jon Snow and Jamie Lannister will be my two guys. From who's who? I don't know. Are you trying to say that Jamie Lannister is Jesse Pinkman? Sure. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if that makes any sense, but. Um, to Stephen, who would be your partner in war? Rick Grimes or Jon Snow? Jon Snow. Rick is, <laughs> Rick is on, he's on the dude list for sure. But he's even behind Frank Castle. I think if, if I'm going to war, I'm picking Frank Castle. Like, oh, 100%. Jon Snow is my dude, but I think the Punisher would wreck his world. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Ninja in pajamas. Where are Nikki and Steven from? Hello from Boston. We're from Southern California. Ooh, from Boston. Vent Ugh. Ventura County. I was born in New Jersey. Yankee fan. Giants fan. We probably don't like each other very much. Oh my god! Anyways, I like that ninja in pajamas. <laughs> uh, Boston's one like those. Let's see. You want to read this I one from Dan? Lost it. Uh, Dan Hansley, do you think Walt could actually do what Gus does, or as professionally? Uh, I would say no because Walt's way too emotional. Yes, I it seems like I want to. I want to learn more about Gus and learn about his background and like figure out if something crazy happened to him because his like someone in the comments somewhere was like that dude's like he doesn't have blood in his veins. He's got ice in his veins. Like he's cold. So Trevor said, "Best editing on YouTube for reaction. Sick editing skills, yo." Thank you very much, Trevor. That is that is such a compliment because there are so many great reaction channels out there, and <clears throat> I know I know it's hard. And I mean, I've put a lot of time into that craft of editing. I've been editing for a long time. So new to reactions, relatively, we're like going on year three now. Has it been that long? Holy crap! <sighs> um, I mean. Walking Dead season seven. When was that? Uh, I don't know. I'm looking because now I have to look. 2017. Is was it really? Like, yeah. So it hasn't been three. It's been one year and a couple months. Oh. Manuel, how men? Oh, we did this last time. I can never say your name right. <laughs> how often do you get a fresh cut, Nikki? It always appears as if you've been freshly groomed. Six weeks. Six to eight weeks. October of 2016. Wow. We started. That's nuts. Yeah. Really? Yep. October will be three years. And I just want to say hi to everybody. And if you had to leave, bye. I'm sorry if, if I didn't get to, you know, your name. The comments are, the comment section gets cranking. Um, yeah, I mean, this channel has been around since... Uh, Spencer says, I always wonder if Steven liked Resident Evil to find out it's his favorite made money <laughs> day. Yeah, that that game, like talk about the jump scares in like a video game. Oh god, like, no, I can't even watch that one. That, I can't watch that, that game, like, and I'll never forget the scene where you're walking in a hallway and the zombie dogs come flying through the windows. Nope, nope, no, 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 no. Every time. Nope. Jumps every time. Josh 
Sanabria just said Nikki and Orb just flew past you. Don't. <laughs> Why are you doing that? They know that you're, yeah, they're going to just. Uh, Yomlada Asefa, we, I, I see the Vikings post. I, I see, and dude, it is on my radar. Yeah. I've been wanting to watch it forever, I mean, but it Vikings, never gets the top vote. I mean, Vi I mean, it's only been in one vote. Um, okay, well, okay, it lost to break. Yeah, it lost to Breaking Bad. Yeah. So I have a feeling. Obviously, Vikings is going to get grandfathered into the next premium vote when it comes around. I think it's going to have a tough challenge against Better Call Saul. Yeah. I have a feeling because we're watching Breaking Bad, all the Breaking ah. Bad fans are going to push hard on on Better Call Saul. Pod is Jesse. <laughs> That's funny. Um, there's someone behind you from Nicholas. <laughs> Y'all. We have the screen in front I know, of I us. Can we, can, we can see. I can see this. <laughs> They're just going to keep teasing you like crazy now. Um. Oh, Simi Valley, it was a house north side of the 118. Off of what? Off of what, Paul? Off of what? Um, last Patreon comment. You want to read it from Mike? Oh, I need to hear from Paul. Paul, send us another message. Nikki gets to read all the long ones. Uh, there. Oh, well, Jasmine wants to know, does, me, does making reaction videos feel like a date? No, it does not. <laughs> Mike, it is nice to do them together. Yeah. Yes. Mike Ramirez, I know you guys have already said you probably won't watch Lost because you already know how it ends, but I just have to tell you that it's my second favorite show behind Game of Thrones. Selfishly, I just want to see Nikki cry over and over <laughs> at the many, many emotional moments. And the music is incredible as well. The show is 90% about the journey of the characters and less about the final destination. Just ask American Mom. Hope you guys will reconsider in the future. And that's church. Church. <laughs> Thank you for saying church. <laughs> and that will do it. So we power through our packages. Power through. So, so now it's. Everybody's gonna, like the mods are killing it. Yes, the mods are killing it. So now we're just Good going job, to. Corey, Nikki, Fernando. Yep. Drake, if he's in here. I don't think Drake's, Drake had plans tonight. Oh, he's got a life? What's that? He's got a, yeah. What's um, that? Where's Paul? Paul, you need – I'm I'm looking for you, Paul. Is there a limit on how many – oh, you can only put 200 words in, so you couldn't, you couldn't write it all. Damn out. it! So now it's all up on you guys, on your comments and stuff, so – Wait. We'll hang out for a little bit longer, and if you got, I'm looking for Paul. If you've got, oh. if you've got comments, throw them in, Damn and we'll, we'll answer. Only we have the ability to see them behind you. That's not funny. Tapo Canyon North 118. We know where that is. Mm -hmm. I need an address, sir. I need an address. <laughs> Feel free to direct message us on Twitter. Seriously, that would be. Do you imagine if it's like a house, like? <laughs> Not that far from us. Maritza Navarro, thank you so, so much. UFC predictions? Let me pull up the card because there's too many cards. First movie you went to, like as a couple? You remember it better than I do. Yeah, it was the was it Exorcism? No. Of, yeah, the Emily, Exorcism Emily Rose. Of Emily Rose? Yeah. yeah. So we love that horror And stuff. we were 25. Yeah. Hmm. Let's see. Let me pull up the UFC 235 card. Mm, as Rick Grimes in your top 10 TV drama characters? Please. Yeah, 100%. Band of Brothers, we get that one a lot. And that might be, that'll be a good one if we decide to ever do that because it's another like single season. I think it's like just 10 episodes. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll think about Band of Brothers. That would never be a, we would never, there, there are certain, guidelines for our premium show it's got to be like a hefty hefty show with many seasons because we watch three to five or three to five and you watch around three episodes a week so w bone b you were 25 nikki younger than that now you're trying to score bony, bleh, brownie points, bony points, brownie points. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, that's great. So who asked about the UFC predictions? I have three tattoos. Scroll back up. Go up. Keep going. I want to see who asked about UFC. Mm -hmm. Oh, Paul's going to DM us on Twitter. Yes. Okay. Yes. 
Something about. Oh, someone wants to know who dies in season eight of Game of Thrones. Everybody. Hey, would we? Somebody emailed us or DM'd us a death pool. Would you guys be interested in doing a death pool with us for Game of Thrones? Because I think everyone dies. Somebody wants to know. Oh, Nikki, what's the tattoo on your hip that made Steven say "damn" when he first saw you on Mind Speed? Hold on, let me see if I can find it. All right, so real quick, while she's doing that. Um, John Jones is going to destroy Anthony Smith. Uh, I hope Tyrone Woodley just beats Kamara Usman. Um, I think Ben Askren is going to out-grapple and like, beat Robbie Lawler. I want Robbie Lawler to win, but I don't think he will. Um, there's a lot of really good card, really good fights on this card. but. Found it. That's what it is. It's initials, a birthday, and a death day. And a star and some stretch marks. Oh, <laughs> so the stretch marks didn't used to be there. That's what it is. Do we do jujitsu? No, we don't. I do. Don't say yeah, sorry. Me. He does. I do. He is a black belt in jujitsu. He's been doing it for like 10 years. 12. He's amazing. Sorry, 12. 12 years. What do you think? Yeah, Mr. Cauliflower ears. They're not that bad. Um, it's definitely a lot worse. And yeah, Dagalove, I have that tattoo on my hip. I have another one somewhere else, and then I have one on my wrist. <laughs> what am I gonna say? I just hate what people call it. No, that's not funny, Alex. I don't like that. What? Ooh, I don't like that. Oh, your daughter is cute. Wait, that little girl hanging upside down from the ceiling is your daughter, right? That's not funny, sir. <laughs> I'm gonna die you just for that. <laughs> yes, yeah, lower back. It's a tramp stamp. Yes, I. <laughs> How did he guess? <laughs> oh my goodness, y'all are too funny. No. <laughs> um, which Stark do you think will die? Do you think they'll kill off anymore? Stark. I think they're all going to die. Yeah, I would have to imagine. Yeah. I mean, who's even – like, three Starks remain, right? Can we even consider Brandon a Stark anymore? You know, he's, a, he's, he's the third-eyed third, raven. Three -eyed so. raven. Like, mm -hmm. he didn't want to take – It's he's the rightful heir of Winterfell, and he didn't want it. So does that mean that he's giving up his claim? I don't think – if <laughs> I, – I want everyone to die. I think that makes it way more interesting. But I think Arya and John, I don't know if John's not a true Stark. Um, but I think Arya and John are gonna from the siblings, I think he's gonna survive. Those two would I have a feeling those are the two that would survive. Mm -hmm. American gods, I wanna watch that so bad. That was in one of our votes. Yeah, I wanna watch that. Edwin. Bye. If you wait, it was a pleasure watching you. You have become one of my favorite actors. From Amsterdam. Greetings from Amsterdam. Yeah, What's buddy. Up? Mm. Want to see a video of Steve doing jujitsu? You can. Yeah, you just gotta find my channel. He's not gonna tell you. I'm though. not gonna tell you though. You gotta go find it. <laughs> Damn it, Redbone! Thank you so much. Oh, so every time a super chat pops up, it. It scrolls, it scrolls all the way to the bottom, bottom and loses my place. Damn it. <laughs> Super chats get priority, though. And they do, and I appreciate them very much. Prediction videos? I think we kind of do those already. The predictions of what? Bates Motel. Um, what? Are there... We we filmed, for Nikki's birthday, we filmed a vlog we uh, when we did the escape rooms. We did three escape rooms in one night. Unfortunately, like you can't obviously bring the camera into the escape room, so it's not like us actually doing the escape room, but you know, because I used to do the vlog, I love like there are a couple vloggers that I really enjoy watching. <laughs> Would you guys be interested in that video? Sorry. Let us know. Corey with his I've got two tattoos, no lower back for me. Well, good for you, sir. Good for you. <laughs> And Josh, that tat looks pretty awesome. Nikki, when's your next one? Any idea? I don't think that tat looks awesome. <laughs> At least not anymore. Maybe when I was 24, when I and got it done. And not a mother. 
I don't know what if I would get another tattoo. <clears throat> I want my nose pierced again. She's done that like twice. It's and it gets infected every single time. Because I never know what to do with it. But I want <sighs> but it But she wants so to do it again. Bad. It's like, come on. The other question I have. Nikki's got seven tattoos. Pretty Nikki has got seven tattoos. Nikki, I'm going to need a DM on Twitter. <laughs> I wish I had seven tattoos. But I'm not going to do that now. Who's going to sit in the Iron Throne in the end from Andrew? The Night King. Yes. Or John. Those are the two options. The little finger theory. I forgot to pee. Ah, I like that. <laughs> night, Maddie. Thanks for joining us. Too. See you guys. Bye, Mad Bear. See you on Sunday night for Walking Dead. I want Sansa dead. Damn. Ah. A lot of people don't like Sansa. I get it. She was a little bratty at the beginning. Kind of hard to recover from that. But she's been through some shit. Yeah. And Black Rock Wednesday. Is Sansa even a Stark? Shouldn't be shouldn't she be a Bolton or a Lannister? I mean, she was a Lannister first. She should be technically and, still married. And Tyrion is still alive. So I mean, technically she, she should, should be, be yeah. a Lannister. She should be married to Tyrion. If Tyrion's a Lannister. Have we seen all of the ghosts in the Hill House? We haven't watched that video yet. We're gonna no. We're letting we're we're letting things kind of calm down a little bit, and then we will we will absolutely watch and probably react to that. Should video. we react to that, or can I watch that in private? I don't know. We'll see. Born a Stark, always oh, a Stark. Yeah. It's a good What's point. your favorite season of Game of Thrones and Walking Dead? Not asking to spoil, just name the season. Uh, I don't. I'm not good at that, so I'm gonna pull up the season list. Jesus, uh, Fernando is covered. I got my throat, upper chest, and two full sleeves. Good God, sir. I want to say. You must have a very high pain tolerance. What? Hard home. Oh, ba um, mm. Battle of the Bastards. Fucking dope. What season was Battle of the Bastards? I think it was seven. Six? Yeah, it's episode nine or six. Battle of the Bastards between the door, Battle of the Bastards, the Winds of Winter, like. Thank you, Spinning Art, that we're both lovely people. You can't convince me. I know people, I know there's a lot of hate for season six. And your hands. Jesus Christ, Fernando. I really like, <laughs> I really, I mean, it's hard to like, season four was so amazing too. I don't know. I love every season of Game of Thrones. I mean, to be honest. I mean. Maybe if we had to wait in between each season, we would be more pissed off at a yeah. season in particular. But because we watched them back to back to back to back, I think. I mean, Battle of the Bastards. Like all. Just the way Battle of the Bastards was shot, like oh my visually, God, it was so amazing. It was that was just so insane. You know what? That episode of Haunting of Hill House, when it was all one shot. There was like three one shots. Three one shots. So awesome. That was epic. So yeah. Aw, oh, Mimi, I'm so scared of the haunting of Hill House that I can't even watch y'all's reaction to it. You need to watch it. It is a it will change your life. It definitely has its moments of horror though. Like it is really scary. Yeah. But it's so much deeper than that. Yeah. The show is so much deeper than just being a scary show. Like it's the story is insane. <coughs> we can't take it anywhere, you guys. Hold the door. Hold the door. Oh. That was door. such a sad that might have been one of the more sad episodes. Um, and Steven is listening to the books. What are you on now? Um, did you take a break? I did take a break. I finished book one. But holy shit, guys. That, like, even even with my commute, and I got a really good commute. What's up, broski? <laughs> um, I'm on the Davos chapter in... Uh, I'm on the Clash of Kings. I got 31 hours remaining <laughs> on this book. Yeah, um, Corey just said book two is like 39 hours. Yeah, it's it's one of the more amazing things that I've ever consumed in terms of content. Just the amount of details and some of the stories are a lot cooler. Um, but it was a chore. Like it is hard. There is. <laughs> Many coughs in yeah. it. Oh, shit. Um, it it is a lot to consume, and 
Yeah, once I finish book one, I had to take a quick break. J Jacob said that you have a nice beard. It's getting more thick. Thank you. I like that you spell thick with a C. <laughs> it should be two Cs. Oh, it's just me, guys. Oh, my God. Thanks, Paul. Wait, now I can't keep up. What are you guys doing, actually? I mean, job. I'm a stay-at-home mom, and Steven is in a... Uh, what is he? An editor? I don't know what he likes to call it. A content editor? Yes, the Nikki Solo Show. Thanks, Josh. What are my cold remedies? Vicks here, Vicks on your back, Vicks on the bottoms of your feet with socks, a humidifier, and Mucinex DM. Stop it. You're freaking weird, Steven. Nikki, do you do your own nails? Yes, I do, because ain't nobody got time for that. I don't do my toes, so those are all gross. <laughs> I'm back. So the show we all deserve. No offense, Steven. Yes. What? The Nikki show? The Nikki show. <coughs> Took me six months to finish all the books. Six months. That's, that's scary. Yeah. But someone was commenting about my beard. Sons of Anarchy. This is just pure laziness. It's just, I, I can't. Well, any shorter than that, like, pokes me in the face. So either I can't keep it long it. or you have to like, keep it shaped. It has, like, weird, like, weird color to it. Like, this whole part is, like, a different color than this. And he's got gray hairs, you guys. Yeah, look at, look at that. The sideburns. He's an old man. I need a haircut, too. Is Sopranos in the future options? No, because... Well, we it? talked about that. We're gonna we're gonna discuss the Sopranos. Well, I like I've seen bits and pieces of it, so I don't know if that's and I've watched a bunch considered of considered spoilers. And I've watched a bunch of um, I watched a bunch of episodes, but I don't really recall or retain it. I I wonder if the stuff would come back to me um, as we were watching, but like because it was college and I was more focused on a lot of other things and playing football and having fun with my friends and stuff. Um, I didn't. I don't feel like I really retained much. As, like I couldn't tell you about the Sopranos right now, but I know I've seen it. So we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Jesse, Nikki is the Khaleesi, mother of minions, lover of cycling, puncher of right arms, and mistress of oh hell no! I'm copying that and I am keeping that forever. Jesse, where is your word document now? No. Oh my god. There's my Star Wars rant. Thank you. You see that? Yep. <laughs> Back to the line. I have a whole giant note filled for my potential Star Wars Last Jedi rant. You know what? Where is Bella? She's sleeping probably. I'm still I'm still debating on whether you guys care about anything that I could rant about. Because I got I, I love to rant about certain things. So Frank Castle will take the Iron Throne. Yeah. It shouldn't be live on the comments. But, uh, yeah. I love to rant about stuff that I'm passionate about. And Star Wars is one of my biggest passions. So I'm getting Instagram messages. Oh, are you? Sure. And you know, my... Let me read the Instagram message. What dead Game of Thrones character would you bring back? For me, it's between Rob and Marjorie. I don't think there's any question. Rob, Rob. Rob was Rob was my dude before Jon Snow was my dude. So I I would love to see Rob and Jon on the battlefield together. That would be so awesome. <clears throat> Panzerfist twenty <22. clears> two. <throat> Oh, no, What's going now on? Now I'm dying. Um, I have a question. How upset are you that the Punisher was canceled? We just we talked about that. It sucks. Yeah. Um, it was. We saw the writing on the wall for that, though. Mighty. Oh, you had questions. O T <laughs> memes. Mighty. I don't know what that is. You have to watch The 100 and The Umbrella Academy. The 100 is like the best show other than The Game of Thrones and The Walking Dead. The 100 is a WBTV show. Aww. So, unfortunately not. But Umbrella Academy, we've been hearing lots about that. I mean, at least I have been. Also, I wanted to give a shout out to um, Margaret 
is it daily dally margaret always sends some really nice messages for she's in liverpool oh, awesome. and she's like so sweet and also to sub level 28 y'all are awesome i like i just oh and I'll also i mean I, I would like to shout everybody out but like these are just a couple in spook shoes on instagram and to uh rob of course rob kj I mean, I have, I have, I have all of y'all. I have all of y'all. But I'll make it into the final vote for the next premium show. I don't think there's any question that it's going to get a, a massive push from all the Breaking Bad fans currently watching. Mm -hmm. um, but there's a lot of shows coming out that, like, I might, The Mandalorian that's coming out on the Disney Network, like, that might trump everything. Like, we might put everything on hold except like walking or except like Game of Thrones, but I don't think it'll be out before Game of Thrones. Um, the Mandalorian is going to be amazing, and I cannot wait for that. That's gonna, I think that's gonna be, I think that piece of content is going to put all Star Wars fans back in a happy place. Is it? I think so. I mean, I, mean, I like Star Wars, but I have a feeling, I have a feeling JJ is gonna do a good job. And Jasmine Walking Dead. Oh yes, of course. Um, Will you guys be able to finish Breaking Bad before the other shows come out? Yeah. What other right? shows? Which ones? Before Game of Thrones and. Uh, we'll be <laughs> looking ahead of the schedule. We're going to be wrapping up Breaking Bad and wrapping up Game of Thrones within like three or four weeks of each other. Yeah. That's going to be a emotional couple days. Robbie, better get on here now. Um, that, that's going to be pretty insane that we're wrapping up those two shows in like basically the same month. Um, that's going to be emotional. That's going to be rough. What? Amazon is making a Lord of the Rings? TV yes. TV? Lord of the Rings is amazing. Um, I did hear that <laughs> they're doing a show. Like, has there been any news on that? Do we know when that's coming out? Um, Oh, I wanted to talk to – somebody asked about my hair color. You answered it for me. Like if I was going to go back to like oh. Khaleesi White again. I would love to, but damn, it is so high maintenance. I just, <laughs> ain't nobody got time for that. And my only favorite color of blonde is when it's blonde with roots. I don't like it when it's freshly bleached. I hope you all don't mind. She's going to be a Stark for season eight. I'm going to be a Stark. <laughs> but then watch two days from now i'm gonna bleach it just watch because that's how it always happens she is there's there's no consistency in her life she loves to rearrange the rooms she okay. loves to change her nails she changes her, her hair and don't listen to what she says about her hair color today because it'll be different tomorrow probably 100 percent. <laughs> and then one minute i'm like i'm never wearing makeup again and then the next day it's like oh full face glam like yeah. <laughs> Um, HTYY wants to know when, where you can vote for the next show. It'll be plastered everywhere. It'll be on Patreon, Twitter, Twitter Instagram, in the community. If you guys don't know about the community tab, you should definitely go check out the community tab. Yes, when well, um, you're on it, I'll, if you're, you're gonna pull who, it up. Who can get it faster? It's different for mobile and for websites. Um, I'm on my jujitsu channel. Yeah. My channel. Okay. So it's so at the top of the list. It says community. So you like you go to videos, playlists, community. And then see, we're live chatting. And then like potential upcoming schedule is there. Like you can't. Yeah. There you go. Like so that. the community tab is that that's where the final vote will land once the patrons kind of narrow the list down um, because they, they earn that right. Um but, yeah, the community tab is so helpful. Community tab and Twitter, I would say, are probably the two best places to follow us for updates on if for some reason there is a schedule change or, like, tomorrow if I can't get out the Punisher reaction that's due tomorrow. Um, it'll be on the community. Like, we'll let you know on the community tab or we'll let you know on Twitter. So you go follow us on Twitter, too, at Nikki Steve React on Twitter. 
Oh, I need my own channel. People have been subscribing to it, and I haven't put anything up. <laughs> and I'm sorry. It's been like a year or so since I've last done that. My bad. Favorite Breaking Bad episode so far? Half Measures for me. Yeah. That's been, well. That ending was the last thing that I was expecting. Yeah, that's like, that true. That was so shocking. And anytime, like, I, I'm really. I love trying to predict and trying to have foresight into what's happening on these shows. Oh, now, I'm sneezing. now I'm sneezing. Come on. Um, <clears throat> I 100% did not even come close to seeing what happened at the end of the last season of the, that we watched for Breaking Bad. Half Measure is my favorite to, to date so far. Um, Manuel would like you to go back to putting the emojis up on the screen oh, when I announce them. Yeah, that's just me being lazy because it saves me five minutes of editing. <laughs> so I'm just. And then yeah. Zed, Stephen, are you a sports fan? I mean, like sports, like basketball, soccer, football, etc. Um, basketball, soccer, football, baseball, fighting, boxing, MMA. Yeah. Yes, Mouse House Studio. I love rearranging rooms so much. <laughs> I hate it. I'm a creature of if habit. If you remember from previous live streams, there used to be a gigantic cabinet back there. I emptied it and moved it to another room. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Cersei Lannister versus the McMahons. Cersei. The McMahon. I, <laughs> I think Cersei. Cersei would whoop their ass. She would. She would like. <laughs> she would cut this amazingly like appear to be baby face promo and then just flip that shit on you and you would hate her so much. Patricio Padilla would like to see a redhead me. Have you ever? You've done red before. It's always been like a super dark, dark red. Yeah. It's not a good look. Also, would you guys be willing to put on Breaking Bad like a day early on Patreon? We try. That's what we strive for, Jasmine. That's what we strive for. Um, because of our schedule, we're like watching the show and then posting it. You would have to put like a hiatus on Thanks, like – Eric. You don't need makeup. We would have to put a hiatus on posting on YouTube to get into that kind of schedule. And I've always kind of stated from day one that YouTube is the priority and I'm not going to risk – um kind of violating our structure to get ahead. Um, we try to get ahead as much as we can, but sometimes it's just hard because of schedules. That's just really the reason why we're not that far ahead on stuff. Dan Hensley, 90s comedies, Ace Ventura or Wayne's World? What? Ace, Ace Ventura, for sure. Yes, Ace Ventura. What? Hold on. Panzer Fist 22, your nail game has been subpar recently. What? Wow. What? <laughs> Steven, your beard rocks as always. That's just rude. I can see who your favorite is. That's fine. Um, and the other thing, the other reason why we don't like to get too far ahead is because we love interacting with your comments before we watch the next episode because we love, we absolutely love getting your guys' kind of views on the episodes and because they're being moderated, they're, they're safe. We love getting your thoughts and your take on stuff because it presents us with really good debate points for when we because we love to talk before and after our episodes before we watch the show. So that's part of the reason why we don't like to get too far ahead. Like last week, we got ahead. We watched all three episodes before we posted episode two. And it was like we didn't really get to engage with you guys in the comments in the video. No, because, because we, have to, we were yeah. already ahead. So we like being as live as possible with y'all just because we like to interact with the comments. So that's another reason. And then Hungry Hungry Hippocampus. Thanks for being wonderful. Thank you. And then AH, do you agree coming to America 2 is a bad idea? <laughs> Horrible yes. idea. That's awful. That just. You you should have done it back then, not now. Yeah. What is I mean, it now? Is Arsenio going to be in it? Like, Thank you, is, Charmed. Like all the. Like, I don't know how you pull off a movie like that all these years later when it's such an iconic movie. Like, yeah, that that sounds like a train wreck waiting to happen. Torky, you two are awesome. Love the reactions. Can't wait for Breaking Bad. Yep. Next Breaking Bad will be Tuesday morning. For those who live in, I don't know, Tuesday morning Pacific Standard LA time. 
Mama Browse, how do I get notifications when you post on the community tab? It's Ooh. supposed to notify you when you have like a little bell on, but you know, if you're, YouTube is fantastic about that. I don't know if they actually give you, um, I don't know if there's official notifications on the community tab posts, mm -hmm. but in your, in your videos feed, is it no? Maybe it's on here. If you're on your subscriptions tab, yeah. So if you're oh videos and posts. So yeah. So here's a shout out to Kinda Cool. She's at the top of our list right now. If you go, if you're working off mobile, there's a drop down menu that says you have to get closer to the because the lights killing it. Um, it says video only or video and posts. So you got to make sure that's on, and and then you'll see them in your in your subscriptions feed. Mm -hmm. So it's it's tricky. Um, twelve chapin guys. When you finished, what is it? Is that Punisher season two? Would you consider doing Jessica Jones season two? I tried to watch it. I couldn't get into it. I don't know what. I again, maybe not in the right headspace for it. Maybe I'd have to rewatch. But yeah. I already started watching it. Yeah, Nikki, what you watched like two or three episodes? Yeah, you did. Um, Sorry, because I didn't think we were gonna watch it on. We're not going to on, probably. On it's just channel. It was we 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 really do rely on the majority of you guys in terms of like stuff like that. Oh, uh, Rob made it, guys! <laughs> I made it. What's up, Rob? <laughs> um, and there were so many. There were like an overwhelming amount of comments that were telling us not to go into season two because it's so much worse than season one. And like the Kilgrave character in season one of Jessica Jones is one of my favorite of any bad guy in anything. So yeah, it was, it, it felt like a, it felt like the right decision. We were able to move on to other things, get away from the comic book stuff. Um, so yeah, I, I don't think we're going to get into Jessica Jones season. I think the next, if, if there's going to be another comic book show outside of, Obviously, we're doing the Punisher. It'll probably be Shield. Techno, I just wanted to say hi to Nikki and Steven and Steven's forearms. My forearm? What's wrong with my forearm? I don't know. <laughs> my hairy forearm. Uh, what about Steven with a blonde beard and blonde hair? Do I have a picture of myself with bleached hair? Oh, God. Why? I was in college. Leave me alone. I don't think. Dog of love. Love you guys. Can't wait to see more content. I hope for more scary shows because I'm a huge baby, but I'm glad Nikki is a bigger baby than me. So brave. <laughs> <laughs> I am a giant baby. I love watching scary stuff with Nikki. It is uh -huh. so much fun. Oh my God, you're real. Are you familiar with the upcoming The Witcher TV show? Oh. No, I am not. All right. Here's, here's 245 pound meat. Look at his neck. Meathead version of me. His neck though. <laughs> Jesus. Any plans doing movie reviews? I mean, kind we've of done stuff. some, but again, it's hard with schedule and like. You'll definitely. I don't know how much Nikki and like how much do you even enjoy doing reviews? Not really. I love doing them. I love sharing my opinion and ranting about it. Oh, how about this picture? Well, you guys got. Do you want to share that on the internet? <laughs> Maybe not. Yes. <laughs> I don't I think so. I don't know if I have any of my blue my blonde hair pictures on. Um I love doing review like I'm not a movie expert or anything, but like I love sharing my opinions about stuff. I think it's a lot of fun. Funny. Um yeah. Anita are you family or friends fans of your channel? Yes, they are and they're very supportive. You, and awesome. Jasmine, you have your own channel. I do have my own channel from when I was like, I don't know, a year or two ago. Um, recommend American Horror Story. There's like a billion episodes. Corey said, show, "Cute right? sneeze, bro." Um, Vikings. Really? Fernando said, "Salud." That was like. What's your favorite horror movie? Oh, I don't know. Probably Freddy Krueger. Any any. Nightmare on Elm Street. I loved. <laughs> I know it's not like one of the iconic ones, but the original Saw movie was so much fun. That was fun. 
I don't like this. Yeah, I know you didn't. Yeah, I have no blonde hair photos on my anywhere. Brewers 2019 World Series champs? Question mark. No, Yankees are gonna win the World Series in 2019. Sorry. Apparently. Apparently, Corey moves the house around, too. My wife comes home all the time to me having moved the house around. <laughs> Sorry, that's how you clean better. You, you move stuff, you clean under it, and then you just find a better place for it. Before we were living where we live now, we were in like a like a nice one-bedroom condo. I would come home at night and crash into shit. Because the, <laughs> the couch would be in a completely different position. And it was like it was like a really open floor plan. So like if you move the couch over here, you, it's like in front of the door almost. Like I would crash into the couch. Like she would move shit around all the time. That doesn't happen uh, as much anymore. Jasmine, I love you guys. We love you too. Josh, Nikki, do you do any gardening? I do not ish. When it's hot outside, I put stuff out there. I like to grow potato plants. So I'll put a potato in water and put it in the you let them grow window the and yeah. I let them grow vines and then I put them outside and then they kind of die. Um, Carol versus Alpha. Carol. We don't Carol know. Carol all day. I mean, we don't. We still don't know. We still need to learn more about Alpha. She seems like a savage. I mean, Carol is too, but. Okay. H-T-Y-Y, grow out your hair. I'm not even trying to hear that. <laughs> Cody, oh, Cody wants to know what we think is going to happen on The Walking Dead. Oh. I think a lot of people are going to die. No, I don't. Well, I, dog better not die. Dog Daryl and Carol and Ezekiel better not die. Yeah, that's rough. I and, think a lot of people. Eugene. I if if they're making this group, if they really want this group to have the impact that I feel like they could have, because like since they've introduced the Whispers, they've been scary, scary group. Like I feel like they've like. They've taken the cake in terms of like introduction to a new group and how dangerous they feel. I hope they go all the way with this group and they just cause some kind of crazy something crazy happens. Um is it Aaron Sunk Sunk? I don't know. Nikki Nikki is Marie condoing her house. Yes. Totally. <laughs> I throw stuff out all the time. Alex said sometimes you post it the night before on Patreon, and it's awesome. That is we, always the yes, goal. Yes, we try. We try. We always try to get the extendeds <laughs> posted on. <laughs> we always try. Black Rock Wednesday table flip. That's right. That is it. That's it. <laughs> we always try to get the extendeds posted on Patreon first, um, just because that's the first thing I edit now. Um, but sometimes the site that hosts our videos don't cooperate like they should. So. What is it? I'm with Randall from Clerks when it comes to L O T R. What is that? Not sure. And I'm, thank you, Josh. I never, I never been a big Clerks fan, so. Oh, I love Clerks. Jay and Silent Bob all the yeah. way. Any plans for watching the prequel Better Call Saul? Yep. It'll be in the vote. Better Call Saul will probably make it in the vote. Love your Cobra Kai reaction. Cobra Kai was so great. Underrated show of last year for sure. One of the best. So glad you guys went live tonight. Stuck inside during a blizzard and I needed someone to hang out with. Jeez, Dang. Missy's so witchy. <gasps> Stay warm, please. Yeah, seriously. Um, why shouldn't they know what? I mm. uh, love you guys. From Mama D's. <laughs> Oh my God, Jay and Silent Bob, zombie deer virus. Oh, Anita. Anita, thank you. This is the best reaction channel ever. No BS. Great interaction. Eh, eh, yep. <laughs> Great interactions. Amazing personality. Thank you. First time talking. Yep. I'll get those words in some way. We really appreciate that. Yes. We really do. Um, Cody, Cersei would place barrels of wildfire. Pig shit under the WWE headquarters and blow that shit up like the cell. Yeah, she would. The cell. Cersei is she's a savage too. Very dangerous. Community tab doesn't show up for me on mobile from Jared. Hmm. What? That's interesting. Yeah. Have you seen the new trailer for Spider-Man 2? Is that the one with the pig that talks? 
No, that was Spider Into the Spider Verse. Oh, okay. I uh, I watched I watched the trailer for Spider Man Two. Yeah. Oh, okay. Nikki hasn't. I don't think. Trailer trailer reactions are tricky for us. We don't if we're not available to watch the trailer within like I don't know twenty four hours of it dropping. We kind of don't want to. We we, we kind of don't do it. Um, and the trailer has to be something that we really, really, really love and really enjoy. Like Spider Man is definitely something that I I was at work and I just clicked on it and I watched it. Um, sometimes I just do that. Um, yeah. But yeah, trailers are more tricky. Well, sometimes people tag me and stuff. Like they tagged us in the um, the, the Hill House, House yeah. trailer on Instagram. So yeah, I clicked on that. Um, Candyman or Freddy Krueger? Who is scarier? Oh shit. Yeah. Freddy Krueger, because man, you can never go to sleep. You can go to sleep. Yeah, I'd go Freddy for sure. All right, we're gonna start wrapping this thing up. Got some work to do. Yeah. Shadow Hunters. We got American Gods again. Yeah. I want to see American Gods. You can't trust YouTube with our notifications. Yeah. What's your favorite movie of 2018? Uh, Infinity War. Infinity War, Black Panther. Was that 2018? The Black oh, Panther? Night, night, Lady Onana. <laughs> Did Black Panther come out last year? I'm really bad at knowing what year stuff came out. Jon Snow is asking a very inappropriate question. If you could be intimate <laughs> with one Game of Thrones character, who would it be for both? I think we would both pick Jon Snow. <laughs> uh, am I allowed to answer that without getting into trouble? Night, Josh. <laughs> How close were you to to not watching Game of Thrones season six? We we would still watch it. There we was, would have still watched it. Yeah. There was a zero percent chance that we weren't gonna find out everything that happened. It was just like most of our reactions, very in the moment. It's just that's what our feelings and emotions were like. We we were fucking pissed off. <laughs> Jon Snow, damn, that was me. It's not me. We. It just, you know, I'm not, I don't know. Um, Cherie we'll Grimes. Forever. Uh, yeah. Steven and Nikki, love you guys. Your reactions are the best. Thank you. Appreciate it. What time is it? It is 1028. Yeah. Good Lord. We got two more minutes. We're going to close this thing down. Ugh. When do you think the HBO will drop the trailer for season eight tomorrow? That's going to, I heard rumors about it and I'm running with it. I say, I, I I would, yeah, I'm anticipating we're going to be set up, ready to go tomorrow for a trailer. Oh, okay. Um, but don't hold me to that. I don't have I any, know, right? I don't have any actual real information on that. That's just, I guess. Turnips will never hurt you. Oh, your house looks exactly like mine. I thought you had broken in for a sec. That'd be creepy. Right? I've learned the eye roll when Nikki talks about Jesse. <laughs> Night, Mouse House Studio. Ah, oh, no, wait. Minute 30. Count now. We're going to close this thing off. Get your questions in. Oh, okay. Well, hold on. Oh, jeez. What? It, just the time for everybody else. Oh. John, don't leave 1 us. 1 a.m. One, almost 1.30. 11? Yeah. Aw, therapy. 7.29 a.m. Good Lord. 12.30, going to bed. Don't tell anybody to ever, cut, like, grow out their hair. <laughs> I'll remember that shit forever. Yes, it's, I hold grudges. Yes, I do. What's your least favorite show? That's hard. I don't know. I probably wouldn't have watched it very long if I didn't like it. Yeah, I don't know. Well, if you dye your hair neon pink, I'm not going to have it. See, me, pink is too yellow for me. I like cool tones, like purples. Can you imagine me with pink hair? No, I don't want to. Really weird. All right, it's 10.30, you guys. I'm tired. All right, y'all. Thank you all very much for joining us and watching. And I'm an old lady now. We, uh, wait, hold what? on. Uh, uh, See, they know I how got, to... Got, got to Tukey Tukey. Greetings from Germany. You guys are just adorably sweet. Love the Breaking Bad reactions. Keep it up. 7 a.m. here, by the way, and I need coffee. Cheers. Wow. Have an awesome cup of coffee for me. Yes. I will have one in the morning. 
All right, y'all. I'm tired. That's going to do it for this live. We love interacting with you guys. This is always an absolute blast. Thank you to the moderators for keeping us safe. We always appreciate you guys very, very much. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you at some point tomorrow for The Punisher. Don't know when. This, Church. This, Church. This is, this is kind of messing me up. Um, but I'll get that video out as soon as possible. So we'll see you guys later. Have a good one. I need everybody to say church real fast. Church. One, two, three. Church. church. Bye, y'all. Church. Come on. Do it. Church. Church.